Uh, so the biggest risks I see in the market for 2019 are rising interest rates and continued uncertainty, political uncertainty related to the federal election next year, as well as continued political uncertainty south of the border and those impacts on the Canadian economy. The primary risk in any market is always the unknown unknowns. We're wondering if there's anything on the geopolitical front that might be brewing in the markets today. Uh, right now, we're seeing just political instability that we haven't seen for decades. Beyond that, uh, you have to focus on interest rates. At this time, interest rates, if they were to move in a quicker fashion than we all expect, that's one of the ones that could upset the just the synchronicity of the markets today. Any kind of shock to investor sentiment, that's something we have to watch for. But right now, we feel very positive about 2019. Looking ahead at 2019, Hungerford Properties sees uh, a significant risk in terms of uh, affordable housing and the pressure that government is under to act uh, in the name of creating more affordable housing and supply. Some governments uh, in the country are employing um, a stick approach to, uh, to this with uh, taxation, rent control, uh, and other forms of intervention which are going to slow down uh, investment in this uh, asset class. However, there's also opportunities to collaborate with government and open up uh, supply through partner partnerships with different levels of government as well as the nonprofit sector and looking at creative ways of mixing use with affordable housing and other, other uh, land uses such as you know, commercial mixed use, even industrial, uh, light industrial. Uh, so we're very much focused on, on um, a collaborative, positive approach with the government to try to address this issue, to create new supply, rather than um, uh, ha being taxed and penalized uh, with, in the forms of rent control. The best opportunities for development over the next 12 to 24 months in the Canadian market will be in uh, zoned urban land, so downtown sites that we can all, we're all trying to get our hands on, and continued intensification in urban centres to attract a uh, millennial generation into the housing market. Further opportunities to build purpose-built rental in the Canadian market with support from government policy. It's a big hole in the market right now and one that we need to fill in order to address the affordability crisis in the market. Investing today is all about knowledge. Investing today is about having an idea, you know, executing on a trend, some research, demographics, that takes you into a leading position where you can act before others do. I think the primary opportunities today are gonna to be in all asset classes. It's gonna involve partnership strategies and it's gonna be looking for income growth today. So however you can offset any kind of softness in the market through income growth is what investors are looking at today. Canada's well poised with sort of leading stats on GDP, on employment, you know, and just general growth. I think 2019 will give a lot of opportunities for Canadians on the investment side in real estate. Looking ahead uh, in terms of opportunities for investment, Hungerford Properties is very bullish uh, on industrial. Uh, in our primary markets, uh, Vancouver and Toronto, uh, I think it's widely acknowledged that there's a, a shortage of land. And rather than looking to, to find ways of uh, working with government on increasing the, am the amount of land supply, uh, we're very much focused on intensifying uh, land. What this starts to look like is increased density and mixed use for industrial sites. Um, the Amazon effect, uh, where consumer behavior is changing and demanding uh, same-day delivery and quick uh, logistics fulfillment is going to create, create increased pressure for businesses to locate industrial supply chains closer to their market, which means uh, that the infill opportunities in industrial and the pressure uh, for increased intense, intensive use of that land becomes paramount and, and a business opportunity for us uh, looking ahead.